on this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the deadbolt detonators and the mag of holding on every single rocket launcher in the game. We'll also be trying it on the Storm Ender and the Moore Sniper to see if it even works on them. Let's go test them out. So right off the bat here, we're going to be starting out with the Morse and the Storm Ender just to see if they even work. And if you're a little confused by why we're even trying these weapons out is because when you pack a punch this Morse sniper right here, the rounds become explosive. Even if you don't come in with explosive rounds like I am, its special feature when pack a punch is that the rounds do explode. And then as for our Storm Ender here, this is in the launcher category, but it kind of just shoots like a pulse which normally is used as like a support weapon here in zombies that kind of just stuns them or like stops them from moving really. So let's just see if this works. We're going to pack a punch our Morse right here. We'll give it a pack two crystal. And like you can see right here, the shots are exploding on impact with our Morse. So let's get a good group of zombies together and see if our dead wire detonators activate with this. We'll just shoot the guy in the middle. Um, I didn't see it go off don't look like it's happening either that or they're all just dying from the explosive too early and as for our storm ender nope still looks like it doesn't really do a whole lot all right cool and just in case i'm missing something here is our storm ender pack a punch with the two little glitched orbs in front of us does this make a difference at all only in damage looks like this is still just a support weapon or like something to tear through on tier one let's get out of here that's weird Maybe it was working because right here for my daily challenge and I have not played any games today, it says I have gotten 23 kills of electric damage and I did not have deadwire on my weapons. I only used the deadwire detonators and I didn't have elemental pop active. So maybe it did work and just the Morse is so strong that you can't even see it. All right, now we can get into the actual launchers here and I decided to start with two of the most popular ones, the RPG and the Joker. And if you're wondering where the RGL is going to be at, I already did the RGL in our last video as a a supplementary weapon to our crossbow so if you want to see how that does go ahead and check that video out but i'm already pretty positive that these will work with our deadbolt detonators so i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade them pop our maga holding pop our golden armor plates we definitely need phd for this and let's get our dead wire detonators going now with our rpg be our first contestant get all the zombies going towards that decoy and let's just send one their way okay just completely blew them all up not a single one actually got hit with dead wire. Okay, this kind of got me rethinking the Morris a little bit. Maybe it just makes it way stronger. It's just rocking right through these zombies. They are only tier one, so maybe they need a bit more health to actually survive a rocket. But I guess we'll see. All right, now let's try to get some zombies with the Joker. It's going to take a little finessing here. But this should land as long as we make it underneath it. There we go. Huh. Yeah, maybe the rockets are just too powerful and we can't see the dead wire actually activate. Let's go try it against something that has a little more health. Let's start off with something light, like a nice little tier two bounty. All right, Mimic, where are you hiding at? Oh, there he is. What is this doing to you? One rocket. Didn't really do anything. Maybe it's because I, I shot the ground near it. I only let the splash damage hit it. Let's try to direct impact them. There you go, right in the mouth. Uh, it does a little bit. Let's Aether Shroud. That way we can take a step back here and maybe hit this guy with it. Nope. Too close to lock on. This is the huge issue with the Joker. But if we just shoot it right here, we can shoot a few shots. Ooh, with actually Maga holding, it's unlimited. That actually might make it way better. Ah. Did we do anything to the, the Mimic though? A little bit slightly let's try that again let's just launch like every rocket we have and hope that we can get there in time for this mimic to still get hit oh nope he's actually right in front of us and he walked right into it you know what if it works it works these zombies are gonna get the rest of it though night night now let's do one more let's see if we can get a disciple so we can see if the electric damage is really hitting and it's a mimic all right we tried but now we have some extra funds so let's go to tier three grab the rest of our perks and we should probably start with a self revive probably the the safer bet but give me all these let's get a wee bit of ammo and how are we doing against some tier three zombies looks like it's killing oh there it is it's activating so maybe the zombies just need to be stronger oh and we got some mimics that want in on the party too Ooh, stay back doesn't look like this is doing a whole lot but we do have a disciple is this doing anything to you I'm not seeing the electric pop up. Maybe this Disciple's just a monster. What do you think, Disciple? Are you a monster? Looks like it. He's just eating shots. Holy shit. Um, excuse me, gentlemen. Would you mind uh, shooting these guys behind me or giving me some ammo? Thank you. 
We got one of the mimics down. There goes the disciple, and there's our other mimic. Okay, so ammo is going to be a huge issue with this. We really need to stay on top of that and really pay attention to what amount of ammo we got and where the zombies are at to get more. Now, is there a Mr. Abomination here? I'd uh, like to speak with him, but it doesn't look like he's spawning anywhere or like there's any contracts for me to do. I guess while we let tier three cool down a bit, let's uh, pay a visit to our pal, the Stormcaller. Let's see if these can do anything to him. I think I see him right here. So let's send a nice little assault of joker rounds at him that are for whatever reason. Not letting me shoot multiple at a time now. Does this do anything nice to him? What's the damage looking like? I think his mask at least broke or that's the sound that I heard. Ooh, it did not do a whole lot. It like keeps unlocking on every time I shoot it, which is not how this thing's supposed to work. But fuck it, we ball. Let's see what a direct impact shot with this will do. No, his, his mask is still here. I don't know what I broke. It must've been a zombie's armor. And now these are going right through them. Sick. It's, yeah, not doing a whole lot of damage. I had hope. With these deadbolt detonators, I did have hope. Oh, now we finally broke his mask. Or maybe it was the mask blocking all the damage this whole time. Oh, now he's healing and I fell down the hill. Awesome. Anyone want to drop ammo and not armor? No? All right, I'll go uh, fuck myself. All right, take two. We'll send in some more shots. And the Stormcaller don't even care. The rockets are nothing to him. He's eating these like Costco hot dogs. And let me tell you, these things aren't $1.79, that's for sure. It's probably costing taxpayers hundreds of thousands per rocket. Oh, now we can finally rapid fire it. Ooh. How we doing? Awesome. Damage wise. Oh, we got him down a little bit. Okay. You know what? My hope is back. He did just heal a bit. That's fine with me. What are you doing all the way on this roof? Side's about to get your shit clapped. Oh, never mind. He moved. Oh, he's learning. Look, he took shelter. All right. I've about had enough of you. you get an aether shrouded RPG in the mouth. I'm gonna swallow it too. Why is this game giving me hope? Showing me that I can take him down just for him to not take any damage now. I just need him to start spawning zombies in. That's the way we make this work. Because if we can get him stuck in that animation, then we can just pelt him. This might work. There we go. He's doing it. And we shot a little bit too far. Awesome. I'm doing everything I can to just hit him with a drone strike. And he's outsmarting us at every turn. Oh, he's so close to dying. And I am too. We got that in common. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, stay spawning shit in. Oh, any ammo from that? No. He's so close to death though. I'm getting cucked. I'm getting cucked hard. Oh, he's got basically no health. Oh, come on. I see a little ammo on the ground. Let me get that. Thank you. Dead, finally. I only took 18 years and he gave me PhD for it. You know what? Respect. We'll save that for our next game. Now back to tier three. Oh, is that an actual bounty contract I see? This might be our one opportunity to get a, a contract in tier three. Please don't take that. Please don't take that. Let me join you. Please let me join you. I'll be a good ally. All right, well, fuck you then, bitch. Just wait till PVP comes out. Oh, would you look at that? We can actually get an Outlast contract. And hopefully by completing this contract, we can get a Rift because as stupid as it sounds, I do want to try this in the Dark Aether because just the sheer amount of zombies there, the RPG could be viable. I don't know about the Joker. I don't feel like we'll have any free time to shoot the Joker, but we'll sure as hell try. There we go. Finish the contract and give me a Rift. Nope. Oh, we might actually be able to do a bounty here in tier three. Give me that. Please, anything but a mimic. I just want to fight something outdoors. Oh, a disciple. You know what? I'll take it. Probably going to be a pain in the ass to kill, but at least we can bring the Joker in on it. Or attempt to anyways. All right. I see our disciple. Zombie, please pop off my dick. Let's see if we can just rain down on him. And we got a few shots there. Or at least they were close. But close ain't going to cut it. Aether Shroud. RPG to the mouth. I got them for about uh, nothing. These things are kind of a disappointment. We got something in common. Ooh, and you might be a bit stronger than your uh, Stormcaller buddy. You are eating this damage a lot better than he was. Maybe we don't have his mass broke yet. Let's change that. Nope. Or not. What about now? Break, please. Break. Broke his hand. 
Oh, now his mask is broken. Got him to half health. And I am fully out of ammo and he's not spawning in any more zombies. So wait. There we go. Spam that right there. I don't even care if he's still there. Nope, he moved. Let's see if he'll chase us into here. You're a bastard. Oh yeah, now nah, you stand still. Come on. I need you to die. No, did his mask grow back? Excuse me? This guy's breaking all kinds of rules. Oh, I don't think these zombies are going to let us try to shoot the Joker at all. We're going to go on the roof, jump off, get some distance, and then we might be able to shoot one shot of the Joker and then try to read the, less, the rest of the crew there. Here we go. Okay, let's go back to there. Let it hit the zombies. Ooh, actually hit the Disciple too. With both of them. Still not dropping any ammo though, like a dick. Here we go. Now we can take care of this horde that he's amassed. Ooh, and we got an Aether Shroud. So let's back up a bit and use that. Jeez, the amount of like strats we have to use just to do damage to this guy is crazy. And it didn't even work. All he has to do is fly away for a second and he's almost back up to full health. I can't, dude. I'm sick of you. Let me beat this guy to death. Oh, he's going to kill me. I'm going to get killed by a crawler and open world zombies. This is just sad. Oh, and the storm's almost here. Literally everybody else in the game is basically left. I've been fighting this guy before the storm even started moving. I'm going to take the walk of shame all the way to the ammo box. And there's an abomination here. Can this get any worse? Maybe the abomination won't see us. I don't think he did. Awesome. Now let's get to work on you. Oh, the abomination did see us actually. And any damage we're about to do is about to come right back to bite us. Because the storm is right here. So he's just going to heal right up. At least we've got the Abomination down to half health. Brain Rod is definitely helping out, but... Can't say he's not doing nothing. And there we go, Storm. Do your thing. Power all these degenerates up. Oh, this is our last hope at trying to get into the Dark Aether. We have to kill him. Because every other contract's just getting eaten by the storm right now. This is the dumbest fight I've ever been in in my life. And the Mimic just put me in the ground. Oh, no, we're back up. I just got pitfalled and smash. Let's try another Cashmere. Maybe that'll help. We gotta do everything we can. And you gotta stop trying to insert yourself into things. Mega Abomination. Oh, can we even stop him from healing? I don't think so. We're in huge trouble. There's only seven minutes left in the game, and I don't even think that's enough. We need this Abomination to laser this guy. I'm trying to bait him into it. Looks like it's just going right through him. Awesome. We might just have to take the L. I don't, I don't know what else we can do here. We have one option, and that's lose. He's recovering health faster than we can recover ammo. Yeah, I think we just got to get to moving. Unfortunate, dude. I mean, if these things can't earn a rift, how are we, how are we ever even going to make it into the Dark Aether? Oh, somebody's down, though. Somebody's pleading for help over here. We might be able to do one good thing on our way out. We only got five minutes to leave. I really hope we don't get hounded by a bunch of elites, because we don't got the time for that. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, decoy. Let's start healing. I got you, pal. And let's get the hell out of here. There's a bike right up here. Let's hope it still works. No, it doesn't. We got to keep running. I think he went down again. No man left behind. But if I have to revive you again, I am leaving you behind. Why would you run inside here? Oh, man. I'm doing everything I can to help you, buddy. But if you don't help yourself, there ain't much I can do. We got to go. Oh, and there goes my gas mask. There's a shop right up here, though. I want to see if I can make it to it so I can buy another gas mask. This is risky business. Gimme. We are going to take it down here, I think. Nope. We're too good for that. Oh, I think I really fucking did it to myself this time. Is there a car that I can take anywhere? Oh, he went down again. We tried, dude. I'm sorry. You are way too far away. Give me this rover. Let's make it out of here. Oh, wait. There's actually a rift. It could be in the clear. Give me that. Can we save our gas mask, perhaps? Can we get to the edge of the circle fast enough? Oh, we can. Let's go. And we made it just in time with only a minute 40 left. This is one of the most stressful games I've played as zombies. At least if we're getting something out of this game, it should be a good amount of time off of our schematics because I feel like we've gotten a good amount of zombie kills. And on the bright side, at least we didn't crash. Where's that? Oh, only 781 zombie kills. I thought it would be way more than that. But 
42 minutes off our schematics. Yeah, that's helpful. All right, now it's time we test out the Strela P and our Pila. Now, these are the two launchers that I was not the most confident in. That's why I started with the Joker and the RPG. But we do have some advantages this time around now that we have the experience under our belts and a few disadvantages. So first advantage is that I actually brought in the Aether Blade so we don't run into any... Uh, situations where I am completely out of my throwing knife and I have to melee to get ammo. And actually, I think that's where the advantages end besides us bringing in the Elder Sigil because arguably that's a disadvantage. I don't know how far we're gonna get in that. Our other disadvantage is that I only have a pack two crystal for this and I only have a pack one crystal for this. So we're gonna have to work our way back up, but at least we'll get a little bit more time with these. You know, give us some time to warm up with them. And we already packed our, popped our mag of holding and our dead wire detonator. So let's see what this can do. Kill about everything. Awesome. That's like what we'd like to see. Now the Strela, I am a little more confident in because this thing is basically hit scan. The second I shoot, it's hitting wherever I'm aiming at, as long as it's like within reasonable range. With our Pila though, this is nice because it's kind of like a hybrid. I can either lock on or just free fire, which the lock on was really hurting us with the, the Joker, but at least we can kind of use them both like the RPG. So basically have two RPGs this time around. And also with our Strela, I'm not seeing Deadwire go off, but I'm sure once we get into the higher tier zones or go against something with more health, it will. So let's start spamming bounties and see if we can get anywhere. Our first bounty is Disciple. What are we doing right off the bat? Can break his hand pretty fast. Do you even have a hood on? Why does the disciple not have a hood on? You got a different model? Why is there so many changes with the disciples? At least we can spam this. If I can even see him. Oh, nice step to the left, dick. But he should be dead here within the next few shots. Okay, well, next few shots with ammo. Yep, reload slower. We don't even really need to reload. We'll just get the prompt off our screen. And didn't even do that. Just die. What if I asked you nicely to die? Would you do that? Please die. Graciously and excellently die. And if this can stop trying to reload, this is going to be a pain in my ass. We need speed cola just for the animation to go away. Die, you bastard. There we go. God damn. All right, we got enough money to get this to pack three. We also should have enough money to get our perks. And uh, maybe we can survive up here in tier three with just one launcher. Looks like it's doing pretty good against some of these zombies so far. Let's uh, grab our perks. Let's stay away from these mimics. Actually, let's see if we can take them out. Nope, they're just eating shots to the mouth. This guy got dead wired though. Idiot. Nope. I have to say something, don't I? But now you should be dead. Looks like Deadwire is going off way more now, though. Strella might be better for it. Because Deadwire going off enough to stun the elites like that is nice. Did we just, like, not use the last game or something? Did I not bring it in? Or are these launchers way better for it? Ooh, and here's an abomination. Let's see if we can actually fight one this game. Get some throwing knives going. Get some shots going at him. Out of ammo. Did not stop the laser. Ooh, and it's not stopping their advances either. They want me dead. Oof, and we're down again. Shit. Do I have another self-revive? I do not. All right, well, Abomination, it was a pleasure. I'm out of here. We might have came to tier three a little prematurely. Just slightly. Oh, wait, but there is a contract right here. Let's go balls to the wall. Let's see if we can complete it. We have to be more careful. This shouldn't be a very hard contract to get done. It just might take a bit. And it really sucks not having our golden armor plates. Not ideal. And that's the contract. Self-revive? Yup. And a sigil. Not that we need it anymore, but it would have been nice last game. But we're back in business. Oh, and there's a bounty down here. Let me get it. Me and the Strella are going to take this on. And what are we getting? A mega bomb. Kind of scary. Didn't look like we did a whole lot to the other one we were fighting. And now this one's got more health. So let's hope this got a little more gas in the tank than we thought. There's the guy we're looking for. Let's start this out with a monkey bomb. Keep all the zombies away. And they can start working on getting us some ammo. You want to shoot a laser? Nope, you're going to charge at us. Awesome. There's the laser. Can we get any damage with that? Don't think so. Um, actually, it's not terrible damage. We, it, it at least is noticeable, the amount that we did. Which is more than I thought it would, to be honest. So let's just keep laying the wood. There you go, he's shooting another laser. Oh, we did break a face somehow. Don't know how that happened, but it did. Can't take it away from me. Oh, here's another laser. 
Can we break another face? I think so. Hey, we're actually doing it. Is the Strolla usable? Maybe, if you're patient. But we do have a chance to take this guy out. There you go, shoot another laser. We will use all of our rockets on your mouth. Completely out. Oh, but there's an insta-kill. You know what? We've got him down enough, right? How much health is he at before I start shooting him? Yeah, that's good. I'd say we earn the right to use an insta-kill against him. We just need him to open up. There you go. And please die. Oh, he's begging for it. Come on. Out of ammo again. Seems to be the running theme with these launchers. And just out of curiosity, we'll use this. Is this doing anything for you? Don't think so. Please, ammo. Thank you. Night, night. Wait. Now, night, night. Almost. Got him. It only took uh, 483 rockets. Oh, and he dropped a scorcher. If only it was a scorcher case. And another self revive. Appreciate you, pal. Oh, and there's another bounty right here. Gimme. I will uh, do that again. Oh, it's a disciple. Okay. This should theoretically be faster. I guess we'll see. Oh, and the disciple's in such a convenient spot, too. We're right by Pack a Punch, so we can go ahead and throw it on our Strella or our Pila or whatever. Basically the same thing. Oh, shit. I only had this on Pack 1. We got a lot more to go. Let's just Aether Shroud here because there's 45 Mimics. And are we doing anything to them? Anything noticeable? Yeah, we're getting the dead wire to go off a few times, so that's good. Mimic? Now's not the time. Let's throw a decoy. I won't keep the mimics away, but maybe the zombies. There's four mimics here. Why? What is this bullshit? I have to go against the whole army. Bring out the navy too. Fuck them. Ooh, that is not the right launcher. Come on. Nope, that was a normal disciple. I got, I got hoodwinked. Sir, do me the greatest favor and die. Oh, an insta-kill? This is just what we're looking for. Come on. He's close to death. Maybe this can do enough to fuel him? Damn, this shoots way slower than the Strella. But at least it can do damage with this insta-kill. And it can kill him. Let's go. Whew. You know what? That was faster than our abomination, so... Not bad. Successful mission. Now we can get this to pack three. Welcome to the party. Only with five minutes left in the game. That's fine. We just need to pack three. So it can do something in the Dark Aether if we needed to. Which we definitely will. And is the Stormcaller still here? Because now that we don't need approval from NASA to shoot some rockets, we might actually be able to take them out in a reasonable amount of time. But I think somebody already killed them. Well, that's unfortunate. His ass is not here. But now I'm in a predicament because I have a Normal Sigil and Elder. And I can almost guarantee we're not going to get far in the Elder. But I do want to try this with all of uh, the new Dark Aether events. So I might just do a normal. Yeah, we're just going to do the normal sigil. I don't want to waste an elder on these. At least we might be able to actually get out of here with something. Let's see how these things can do in the dark aether. And per usual, let's start off with the most difficult one to complete. Give me that. And actually, I have a little bit of hope for the launchers here. Not a whole lot because if we run out of ammo, we're screwed. But there is going to just be a lot of zombies all hoarded together. So maybe a few rockets here and there could actually get us through this. I, I might just be underestimating this. Like severely. Let's just try to stay with it. I will try to use this launcher as well. That way we don't lose out on our stuff. And I swear I just saw a nuke. Nope. There's a Mimic with a nuke inside of them. We need to get up now before they completely blow this thing up. There's a nuke. Let's wait for our, our cashmere to stop. And we'll hit it. Let's look for some armor on the ground. Let's throw another cashmere. Take out the Mangler. Or at least try to. You do not want to go down. I know this Mimic does. Give me that. 73% after the first one. Not ideal, but also not terrible. We can work with it. Oh, this is not looking good. We need this Mimic to drop the nuke now. We're already at 60%. Oh, the dead wire is actually hurting us here. There we go. I thought the Mimic was just going to stay alive because of the dead wire, but uh, they might have a fail safe for that, at least in the Stark Aether. 43%. We got it. We got it. We can do it. I believe. I'm throwing another Cashmere immediately. We have a nuke. I'm hitting that. And we got two more Cashmere's, two decoys. Let's try to grab some ammo while we have a second. Nice. No zombies are dropping any. 34%. We're almost at the finish line. Just a little bit more. Here they come. Do that. Nice little cashmere again. Let's try to get some ammo now for this so we don't have to reload it. Because a reload on this could end us. Actually, it's going to get ended here anyways. 
I thought that was a nuke. I came out running here for a nuke. Didn't even get it. And we failed it right at the end. Damn. Whatever. Valiant effort. At least we, we made it towards the end. Damn, I really thought we could get that contract. Launchers and taking out zombies like that should just go hand in hand. But we might be able to get this uh, mega abomination. We've already taken down a few. So let's take out this mimic. Because he's got something I want inside of him. There we go. Now we can activate the seal. Grab that and let's go. All right, Abomination. Let's do this. Let's tango. I probably should have waited to pop the Aether Shroud until after he shot his laser. But we can get a few extra shots in on him. No big deal. Ain't no thing. Let's launch these. Leave it at one rocket. And let's go down. All part of the plan. Exactly what I wanted. Let him think that he's winning. Oh, this is actually going to be a lot tougher than the other abominations we were fighting. There's just so many more zombies and elites surrounding us. And holy mangler. There's one, two, three, four, five. Holy shit. That is too many. This is ridiculous. This is insane. I need the cashmere here. Oh, fuck. Do I have any more self revives? What am I at? None. We can still do this. I believe. This cashmere should suck a good portion of them up. This nuke's gonna help. Um, I'm not seeing any possible areas where we could get a self-revive from. We need an Aether Shroud badly. And we have them not even at half health. Ooh, we might have to cut our losses and leave. Oh, but there's another contract I know for sure that we can get done. We just need to find a mark cache somewhere that might have a self-revive. But Death Perception ain't helping me out. I don't see shit. Oh, this might be it. Oh, we're knocking on death's door. Got no armor. No self-revives. This is bad. This is really bad. Maybe if somebody drops a nuke for us, we might be okay. We might be fine. No, we're dead. We're, we're totally dead. Fuck! Oh, we tried it. We really did. Disciple, what, what about you help me up? What do you say? Let bygones be bygones. Goodbye, sweet prince. Shit, dude. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Now, after testing out all of our launchers with the dead wire detonators, honestly, they're... All right, they're okay. Probably use them as a supporting weapon and not like two in the same class as your only weapons. I'll probably do a bit better. My two choices would be the RPG and the Strela P if you're not going to use the RGL. Those two definitely worked out the best. They shoot the fastest, especially with Mag of Holding, and they can deal a lot of damage pretty quickly. It's just the ammo thing is such a huge issue with these that it is very, very hard to get some things done, but it's still possible. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.